M theory, which is known as a theory of everything that combines all superstring theories into one, says our reality is shaped by 10 spatial dimensions, including time, creating 11 possible dimensions. Three spatial dimensions we can physically observe, time as an abstract dimension that we can experience but cannot see, and six smaller spatial dimensions not observed. Today we will explore the topmost spatial dimension, and I will tell you that there are infinite dimensions of the infinite self, and it does not stop at 11. But perhaps that is something that will be discovered in your next lifetime in another way, instead of attending an online Palladian class today. I am only a mirror to what you are ready to hear when you stumble upon my video. Remember, there are almost 8 billion people in the world, and not even a million will see this video. So it means by probability, and without coincidence, you are ready to hear this and remember it as we enter the 10th dimension. Rob Bryanton intuitively stated that as anything tries to be experienced within the 10th dimension, we are spilled back into the dimensions below as subsets are carved out of this ultimate ensemble of the omniverse, this timeless and unchanging everything which underlies our reality. This supports the idea that our consciousness is embedded in the higher dimension of 10th dimension, or even the temporal of the 11th dimension, but we experience ourselves as an interactive memory, playing out a reality in the lower dimensions, such as we are walking around Earth or in a parallel universe. Nobody is simulating this journey of life except you. Our consciousness is moving throughout many lives, in and out, on planets, and in parallel worlds all the time. This is why you exist on a planet in the Pleiades at the same time on Earth. The reason we experience our lives right now on Earth is because of the specific focus on it, for a reason that can be learned after this lifetime, but also discovered with deeper contemplation and connecting to the intuition. At 10th dimension, you realize your multiple selves are at every place at any time and can realize your omnipresence of the self. You are entangled within every dimension at the same time, but it is your choice to focus on one at a time for the purpose of the full experience. Your omniscient self is aware of all things, knows of all past, present, and future of all possible universes, and this is why meditation helps you remember this part of you to calm you down when you feel lost and narrow-sighted about this lifetime only. Your omnipotent self shows you your actual all-powerful self that can do anything the mind sets its goal upon, and the only true limitation is within the mind. Don't feel badly about this. There is a wonderful quality to limitation that allows the experience of a certain life to be more meaningful. When you have to struggle for food and a paycheck, to live in a sheltered home is more meaningful to you after the pursuit of happiness is not just a given. You are living to experience and to have a meaningful one at that. Each lifetime is meaningful in their own way, but there is a central theme that exists deep within your consciousness that cannot be removed within any world or universe you enter into. Your omni benevolence is the realization of the self as an all-loving and wise consciousness that wishes only for love to be shown to the self, experienced by the self, and given by the self to all its creations. You only have the abilities of omnipotency, omniscience, and omnipresence in order to experience the self as love. You are a servant to the collective and not just the ego self, because serving only the ego self of desires is not embracing all that you are as love in the omniverse. This is the force that all beings serve deep within. This is the true self, and you can be either connected to it or disconnected to it, but it is the true self as a brilliant energy of love. Here at the 10th is where you realize the importance on love in all the universes ever conceived of. Every experience is not worth living without this powerful energy of love to radiate from each world. A world without love is a dull and terrible experience, 
that is not worth the energy of creation for. The immense mind of yours cannot conceive of a world without love. It cannot be done, because nothing is outside of the self. And if it is, it is destroyed, and a new creation is made new by you so that love can exist. The desire to experience love on every world, in every dimension, shows up in infinite forms. It can be shown in a romantic way between another soul of your dreams, or a love for a pet you imagined, or a love of a project or career you are passionate about. Love is the awakening force that shows the true self, and when you are not ready to be awakened, you may run from it, deny it, and hide it away. But you cannot run from love, since love is you, and you cannot ultimately run away from the self. It enfolds you and entraps you at times, because it is you looking back at you in the mirror. You are actually the love energy in a consciousness form that creates a physical vessel for a temporary time in one world till you are ready to experience a new version of the self in another form. All worlds will carry the central theme around all souls, and you will live to see what love is and what it is not in all the terrible forms of unconscious acts that is the unlove that you are not. The darkness is the absence of light, and the light is love. It is the awakened self. It's all about you in the end, which is all about love. You are searching for love in every world, because it is the searching for your true self. You are remembering to learn how to express it as a baby, all through the adulthood, because it is the expression of you. The connection to other souls through friendship, admiration, and trust is the connection to yourself once again in love. The art, music, and projects you physically create express yourself as the things you love and are because you cannot help but express the true self once you stop hiding. The heartbreaking tragedies and loss of love is felt because it makes you realize how much you need the self as love. The denial of love within a lifetime happens to the self as it is not ready to be shown a mirror and to wake up. The exploration of love is the diving deeper into the self, the rejoicing in it. It is the celebration of the self. The finding of love once again in another time or lifetime is the remembrance of the self, the crossing dimensions of it because love cannot help but be wherever you are because it is you. The mirroring of it you find in your life with other souls is a realization of what you are at the core under the skin. The destruction of love is the tearing down of the self in order to rebuild it. The triumph of it is the ability to realize the omnipotency of the self and how you will always win in the end with your awareness of love. Love is truly the one thing that spills over into the lower dimensions like a cup overflowing with water. If our omniverse is a mind, as many say, well then it is a mind with one thing on the brain at all times. Love. That is your mind, and is my mind too, because we are one. I am just here today as a soul born on earth, representing the higher wisdom of the Pleiades and the higher love of fairy, to tell you that, and to remind anyone ready to remember this. That is my purpose born out of love, and now it is your time to discover yours born out of love. From this moment of awakening to yourself as love, you can change the dream. You can see yourself for who you really are. Maybe this will make you cry or smile. Maybe it will make you scoff and laugh. It is all about where you are and what you are ready to know about yourself. Perhaps it will motivate you to go after that relationship you want, or the job you love, or adopt a baby or a pet you so want to hold and give love to. Write a book, a song, create art to express the self as love. You can love many things, from death to life, from technology to nature, and you can also love all of them at the same time. Souls will have different loves that reflect their unique selves and what they choose to focus on at a time. What they choose to gaze at 
as a reflection of themselves in a single lifetime. After all of the secret societies, shadow government, dark occults of black magic, conspiracies against the people, and the faceless evil that governs people's unconscious selves, when all of that is swept away when a planet is destroyed or life becomes barren after wars, all that is left is love, even if souls did not choose to awaken during a lifetime to their true selves. The reality of love within every fabric of dimension exists. Every revolution has not been won by violence, it has been with love. Love is the true all-powerful force of the omniverse that shapes reality and molds where you want it to go because it is the true consciousness awakened. What brings you joy is what brings you into alignment with the true self. What you love is what shows you yourself more to you. We are infinity gazing at itself as the only thing that exists. We are one, and we are one love. Many other ideas exist besides love, of course, but what someone discovers when they truly awaken is that knowledge is love, wisdom is love, light is love, truth is love, understanding is love, awareness is love, enlightenment is the awakening to love. These are all things that make the life more enjoyable in the experience, if that is what you are ready for. Some souls are not ready for it, and need more time to experience what they are not, what love is not. These lives are not meaningless, they are everything to us. They are all we can do as an immense conscious energy. All we can do is explore the self, and explore the many facets of love. So as the embodiment of love ourselves, we must walk in love and leave love wherever we go if we are on the quest to discover the true self within this lifetime and reach enlightenment. If we are ready to truly ascend, then we must awaken to love all beings, love the self, love the earth, love the animals, and love everything that we have dreamed because it is the essence of us. Do not judge yourself if you cannot stay here in this awakened moment all the time. It may not be the time to do so for you, but I promise you one day it will become automatic and involuntary as you walk around in love with everything and everyone. You can get sad, mad, frustrated, and experience emotions still from this place of enlightenment but the love light is never gone from your eyes, and a smile is always ready to break out, so that emotional tension is not carried for too long, that you forget your true self as love. In the next unit, we will explore the emotional fields, and what all the different emotions really mean, and why do we have emotions in the first place. I will end with 11 dimensions, though, because there is one last step after discovering the true omni-self of love, the last step before creating once again. The following exercises will begin your journey of the 10th dimension of reality within you. I suggest writing your answers down in a journal so you can refer to them in the future or just listen to them and think deeply. Number one, take your paper and write all the things you love in your life. Now gaze at them. This is you. All those things and ideas are you. How beautiful life is when you see that the reason you love flowers is because you are as colorful as them, as beautiful as a sunset you love to watch. You love your family and your spouse because they are what you have dreamed to love back and to reflect yourself back to you. Your pets have all been imagined by you before space and time, before being born, to love and to show love back. See all these things that you love as you in essence, and it might make you love them more. Number two, now take your paper and write down the things you do not love. Those are the polar opposites you have created in your experience to discover the true self. 
You do not love these things because they represent the opposites of yourself. They are mirrors, too. Now try to smile at the list and feel love for those things and appreciate them for what they are. I cannot stand violence or littering. It is not something to love for their terrible productions on my own reality, but I have learned to see why they exist in the first place to experience. You can practice gratitude for having these things teach you what you are not, for showing you the opposites of the light and the love that you have always seeked for instead. The things you love become a sanctuary or your personal heaven you create when you can escape to them after experience with the things you do not like. So your ongoing homework assignment for the rest of your lifetime is to practice gratitude for the things you hate or dislike. You do not have to love it with your emotions and disgust yourself in doing so, but love is understanding too. So your quest will be to try to understand it and show gratefulness for the existence of it in the experience. Pain shows you comfort, which is love ultimately. Suffering shows what peace is, which is love. All the things you hate also show you all the things you are in their opposites. It is the yin yang. You need the opposites to create relativity in the mind. At the 10th dimension, all things become one, so yin and yang are no longer opposites, but born from the same energy to know the self, to know love. Number three, take a few days for this, but right now in the world, love as a displayed emotion is getting harder to see. The mirror is getting unclear to many souls because we are at a time of a great reveal. And so things must get worse before they get better. Only going through this darkness of suffering can we come to know the true light of peace on earth. So please take a chance in your life to actively demonstrate your capability of being aware of yourself as love itself. And go tell someone you love them sincerely and openly and honestly let them know in your life if you have nobody at the time then go speak to the trees or the animals find some way to shout it to the sky but express yourself as love to get reawakened to the true self once again to be able to navigate through the illusions of the darkness in the world that shows what love is not but what it can become with awareness. Number four, capture those moments of self-realization within you. If you have had those exciting moments of being in love and connected to everything, write it down or think about it right now. Remember that feeling of a quickened heartbeat and feeling so good inside, like you are alive for the first time or that life is nothing but a dream. Remember those times and cherish them because the reason you get so happy and elated in the moment of intense love is because you are getting a glimpse of the true reality where you are one with everything and love is all there is. Number five, to understand the infinite nature of the self and of love at the same time, write down the word love and write all the word associations you feel with it. Make your list a poem or a song if you want, but write down everything that comes to mind with the word love. This gives you an indication of what you are already aware of within the self. If you have come to realize that love is infinite, well then you have realized that the self is infinite. If you have come to realize that love is a struggle, then you have seen yourself in the multi-dimensional levels of consciousness 
that produces struggle. Number six, when we no longer feel love flowing through our lives, we often want to end the experience in suicide or some form of escapism through drugs. Many starseeds can feel this way because they feel no love in the world. When they look out at the events and the way humans behave towards each other and even towards them. But this comes from a place of focusing on the outside world too much. When you focus on the inside world, you will discover you are the love that already exists for all time. And it is your chance in this life to bring it out and watch it be reflected back around you as the world changes. So right now, if you feel a lack of love, how can you actively bring love back into the world? In what way can you demonstrate what you feel is absent from others? Write down all the ways you can be the love, and then do it, be it, and watch the life you dreamed of unfold. Well, thank you for traveling with me all this way. And I will finish off this unit with the 11th dimension because there is a next phase after you have this realization that you are love itself. So I hope you join me for that lesson and I will see you soon. Take care and enjoy the day.